Welcome everyone. Today we'll have a special patch 2.1 preparation video for the maintenance of the patch and also after the patch. After the countdown, we'll also go through a number of to-do lists for the new patch, including the new islands and also how to prepare for those with different monsters. And also over here, I have had a look at all the official information for the new patch, with different events, different themes, and of course with the different monsters, you know, with Niara as one of the weekly boss. We'll also have a look at some of the new monsters, how to counter them, and also go through some of the vision version details with preparing for different items. So we'll go through this in this video as well. So the first part of the video, we'll have a look at the countdowns, the two countdown timers, when the maintenance starts and when the maintenance finishes. We'll briefly talk about the potential of this code as well. One of my viewers sent it to me, I thought it was pretty interesting. And on the second part, we'll have a look at the things that is recommended to do before the patch, and also what are the things that is recommended to do after the patch. So I did go through those in some of my details and some of the you know understandings of things. We'll go through this together in this video. And finally, as you know, our usual warnings, try to not spend too much into the game, even though this is one of the Archon banners, which is very tempting. Now coming over to the official notice for patch 2.1. We know that the patch will start maintenance on the 6 a.m. in China time. In order to give you guys a better understanding of the timings, I have made a countdown timer. During the recording of this video, this is about 19 hours before the maintenance starts. This is also 8 a.m. for me, Australia time. So the maintenance will last 5 hours. And usually the maintenance do finish a little earlier. And you can see over here, this is a maintenance countdown timer when it finishes. So this will finish at 1 p.m. for me, so 5 hours duration. Now, do keep in mind guys, sometimes maintenance do finish about half hour earlier. This is pretty much the latest time for the maintenance to finish. And if the maintenance doesn't finish by this time, we'll get 60 more primal gems for each hour we wait, which is actually pretty good. <laughs> we also had a viewer to joke about, I'm happy to wait for a day to get you know, thousands of primal gems, which will be, I, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> so those are the two countdown timers. I'll have those available for you guys in the description below if you want to have a look. I usually make those because, you know, you want to get the things done before the patch, you also have a five hour gap. If you want to, you know, rest a bit, if you want to go outside to get some sun, that's why I have the background over here, us going outside. <laughs> and of course, this way is when the money gets splashed. So you can see in the background, you see the money flying around. And over here, I just realized I made a mistake. <laughs> I used the preset of the patch 1.6 maintenance countdown timer. So notice how it was saying 1.6 before. I have adjusted now to patch 2.1. <laughs> so I'm sure some will be like, why is he talking about patch 1.6 countdowns? So those are the exact right time, but I accidentally wrote the wrong ones because it was using a preset I used to use. So notice now it's adjusted to patch 2.1. <laughs> so sorry about that, guys. And now let's come to the second part of the video, which will have a look at the things we can do before the patch and also after the patch. Patch. Now before we go into the second part of the video, I also want to share this with you guys. So a few of the viewers actually emailed this one to me saying, hey man, why don't you try this primal code? I tried it, it doesn't work. But there may be a chance guys, on the 28th of September, when it is the first year anniversary of the Genshin Impact, there may be a small chance this primal code works. No, this is definitely nothing, you know, no leak, anything. It's just viewers saying, you know, let's test a few codes and let's see if we get lucky. Because sometimes Genshin Impact might have a random code that is like, you know, Genshin Anniversary for the anniversary, which is quite, quite possible, right? So this is just a guesswork. So on the date of the anniversary, if we do get a promo code, I'll let you guys know as quickly as we can to get those. Sometimes they do have a limitation too. So I thought I'd share this one with you guys because some of viewers are saying in the comments, it's like, Matt, try this code out. And I always get baited by codes, right? So, you know, it's pretty funny, I know, on the live stream. And this is the code I thought may be a chance of working on the 28th. Now, most of us know that there is a lot of new content with this particular patch, with two new islands, with one of the particular Pearl Palace and also the electric Serrera Island. And in those islands, there's special features and also special gameplays and special themes. So in this video, I have made some summaries and also some of my understandings of what is going to happen into the game. And here are some of my recommendations to do before the maintenance. So we know that there will be two islands, there will be the Archon story, there will be more chairs, more oculars, and also for the, you know, Sacred Tree. So the first thing I thought about is actually the new monsters. We know that there will be a number of new monsters. So let me go through the monsters. There's actually quite a few of them. So we know there will be new monsters. And with new monsters, what we want to do is we do need to farm them for the new essential materials and also the necessary ingredients, right? So there will be the Hydro Hypostatus. There will be the elect the Thunder manifest Manifestation, which is like a Thunder alternate. And also there will be the Special Spectres. And I do want to you know highlight those with you guys as well. So my initial idea is to prepare for those monsters, we can prepare some of the resistance potions and also food. Depending on party synergy, you might have different potions for damage boost. 
but we can also have a resistance potion. So against the electric and also the hydro monsters or even quiet monsters, we can prepare those potions. And this may be a big bonus if we have trouble with those monsters. Now we also know that Shinyara have two faces from the livestream. And she looks pretty gorgeous, right? So Shinyara naturally looks as the Quayo, you know, Quayo character, but she also have two faces. So you can also see the different monsters over here. So for Shinyara particularly, I do recommend us preparing two different type of potions. One for Quayo, one for Pyo. So those are the resistance potions. And depending on her faces, we can use different potions. This is because like Child, who was very popular and very powerful at the start, we might have some trouble defeating her initially. So this could be very helpful. And let me know what you guys think. I'm thinking of preparing for some potions, preparing for a different team of characters, understanding her attack patterns, and also, you know, just get ready for the new weekly boss. Quite excited for this one. Now on the second part, I do believe there will be new warp points that will be available on the new islands, but we can also create some of the portable warp points. And this also helps us to, you know, go for the 100% Oculus completion and also for the new islands, if there's a point of interest, we want to mark them down. Because there will be a new fishing feature and also with the warping point, we can consider to start our own warp point next to a particular fishing spot. Now for the fishing feature especially, the fishing feature allows us to create the fishing baits. And if you guys do want to have a read, I have the links available for you guys for a deeper read. But as you can see over here, some of the common materials can be crafted for fishing baits. And if you guys don't have many of those common materials, like the salsettes, like the haze, which we can buy from the shop, you can still buy them. Is that a flower? <laughs> I can't see it properly. So we can start to fish. And once we fish, we can exchange the fishes with NPCs for different prizes. You can see over here. So NPCs, we can have decorations, we can have special formulas and also special items. And this is actually quite interesting because the more you fish, the more loot you get. And this does not consume stamina. So because it is a new future, I do recommend us to look for some great fishing spot and I'll look for some first as well and have the portable portal ready to go for those items. And because there will be different locations in each of the cities for exchange, I do recommend coming over here to see the locations of the fish exchange. They will be located on the map, but you know, in case you guys missed it, there will be one NPC in each of the cities. Now on the topic of preparing for different materials, we know that there will be a particular event which we can offer the food for different buffs. And this means we can prepare some ingredients for the existing food. If you guys haven't processed your food, like, you know, the sausages and, you know, the things that need to process for five minutes, maybe considering processing some of those before the maintenance. And after the maintenance, if you do need those processing food, you can still buy them from the shop. So sometimes the shop sell them about 10 in the shop before reset, and also you can process some of them. So we can prepare some of the food in case we want to go for the event or against different monsters, which could be really good. Now, of course, there's a few of the common standard before the patch tips as well. So for each of the patch, we might want to wait after the new battle pass and then kill the weekly boss. And this will give us, you know, the better chance of not having to do the, the work twice, which we can still do it. But if you haven't killed the weekly boss, this means you can also complete the battle pass at the same time. We also want to spend about 40 reason for the five hours update because we get about 7.5 reason per hour, and this way we have some reason to regen while we wait for the new maintenance. We can set down characters for expeditions, and also, maybe, this is a good idea guys, to craft at least 30 of the weapon enhancement before the daily reset. Because we will be needing lots of those daily reset for the new free weapon. Usually in the free weapon event, we get 1.5 times experience. And with the 1.5 times experience and also level 5 refinement, those weapons are pretty good. So even though I might not use the weapon right away, having a max refined 4 star weapon with you know a discount of weapon experience, I usually try to get a weapon to at least level 80 or even level 90. And usually this is actually pretty worth it, because you save a lot of enhancement materials for the weapon experience. And this is why I say we can craft some of the weapon enhancement ores and use that advantage to the 1.5 times experience during the event. Now, if you guys are wondering what web free weapon I'm talking about, I'm sure both of you know that. So there will be a free exclusive fishing claymore that is obtainable in this particular patch. So it is the Moonlight Merriment, and this is a cooking competition. And this is what I mean by the free weapon, and this is where we usually get the 1.5 times experience, which is actually quite important. And yep, yeah, so definitely look into this one. And I do think this one doesn't start right away. Yeah, this one doesn't start right away. It starts on the second part of the patch. So if you haven't prepared your weapon experience, you can still prepare them at this time, 
which is not bad. So it starts at the 27th, I believe, which, which will be on the second part. So the first part will be Inazuma. Second part will be the Moon Festival for Lering Harbor. Now over here, I also have some tips and also suggestions for patch 2.1 after the maintenance. So there is a number of features which I showed you guys a little earlier. So if we come back over here, we know there is the number of new features in the game, like the electric lamp, the face gate. So I made a small summary over here for us. And just, you know, as a quick summary, the face gate is a teleportation device that after we're completing the rotation of the face gate, it can allow us to teleport. The electro lamp, which you see on the New Islands, can be lit up by the electrogrammers in a correct order. So you have to count the orders, and once you get the order right, likely we'll get a special chest or a special reward. There are also mysterious pillars, which are the new mechanics in the environment. By clicking on those, this will react a different phase. And I'll show you guys what I mean by over here. So those will light up the environment, and this will change the scope of things. And this can allow us to solve different puzzles. So those are some of the highlights of the futures for the new environment. There's also the new Spectre Monsters, which they will explode upon death. So be a little careful in case you take too much damage and you have to revive your characters. And those are a few of the highlights for the new futures for those two islands. Now there are also three new common loots and also monsters to defeat for those items. There's the unagi, which is, looks like an eel. There, there will be the unagi eat, meat, and also the special pearls and also a special fruit. Those particular items can be looted in the game, and I do believe those will become a part of the crafting materials for cooking. So you can see those over here, the new materials we can loot. And those will, I do believe the first two will be on the Pearl Palace Island. The last one will be on the Electric Island. And those might be the items we want for ascending our characters or special cooking ingredients. Now, of course, I'm sure most of us will do this. There will be the new patch 2.1 Archon Quest and also new World Quest for extra loot, extra primal gems. There will definitely be some special precious items and also loots available in the game. If I find those, I'll make a special video for us. You know, like the special, the little doggy chest with 180,000 of the Moras in Inazuma. I saw that too as I was playing it. Those are pretty nice. So if there's a special loot, special items, I'll let you guys know. And of course, don't forget to put down on your minimap. If you come across some of the puzzles and chests you cannot solve, Make sure you mark them down specially on the minimap and come back to them after we have some guides and some tips for them. I'll be looking for those as well and in order to get us the most primal gems and get the most puzzles and also rewards out of those new zones. Now I'm sure most of us might have forgotten this one <laughs> and me as well. There is still the parametric transformer and make sure you guys do use those because those will give us some decent loot. I do believe they give us about 30 risen worth of loot every seven days, <laughs> which is pretty silly, right? And also don't forget to do the daily check-ins and those will give us about 20 primal gems for the first seven days for the 21 days. We do want to try it try out the new lecture outcome before we summon for her. I know guys, likely we're going to summon for her very excitedly because this is a special Electro Archon banner. And I do think my last tip before, uh, maybe after the patch, is that we want to try out the Electro Archon. Keep in mind, when you try the character out in the test runs, they will have an abnormal amount of energy gain. So they will gain energy much faster in the test run. And this was revealed all the time after I think patch 1.3. So, you know, you might be misled at how fast she gains energy. Now, remember guys, don't get too excited because it is going to be a, you know, a very popular character. And most of us do want to get a hands on all the Archons. And the actual Archon does look very good. So the first thing is, remember that even if we don't get her on this banner, there will definitely be an Archon rerun. And don't, don't make it such that you want to spend a lot of money to get her. Because, you know, in a patch or two, maybe in about three to four patches, she will come back with a rerun. So you know, never spend out of your financial capacities and never overspend, guys. Sometimes we might get a little unlucky with 50-50. Sometimes things might happen not the way we wanted it. So it is best that we prepare ourselves mentally before the banner and also before the patch to prepare for the worst case scenario. Sometimes we can get her within 10, 10 20 wishes. That can also happen too. So be aware guys, try to not overspend because there will be a lot of videos, a lot of social media saying how lucky everyone got with getting the electro outcome. And people will be getting her to concession six. Because you know, sometimes people like to do that. Usually I recommend going for concession zero and just have some fun with the character. So even if you miss a character, never, never overspend guys. It is not recommended because you know, we still have time until the rerun to save up more free to play primal gems. 
by then, by you know, two to three patches time, we'll have enough to guarantee her on her rerun. Now, hopefully, you guys found this video helpful. I am very excited to you know to make guides and also tips for the new patch. And also, in case you guys haven't pre-downloaded the patch, make sure you pre-download it because it, sometimes it quite it's quite big. I do believe it's about three gigabytes of size on PC. So make sure you preload the, the game and preload the zones before the maintenance starts because you might have a peak time for that as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys on the live summoning stream. Likely, I'll try to summon on Twitch and then I'll post our videos onto YouTube as well. So fingers crossed we can get Electro Icon on the 50-50 and I'll try her out as well. So very excited to try her out and I want to see what team I can build with her. There is a thing. I don't have the resource to get her to high levels. So I might just try her in the test rooms and we'll, we'll see how we go in the live stream. So thank you again for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on the live stream when the patch comes out. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news, and even updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with Catherine and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.